S-Y. In a country with numerous languages and dialects and a literacy rate below the world average, nearly 200 kids gathered in this auditorium hoping to spell F-O-R-M. And Ghanaian kids have been doing so for 10 years now. The first year of the spelling bee, we had six schools uh, participating and 30 students. For the past decade, Eugenia Minson has organized Ghana's English language spelling bee and literacy program. So this was a year before Aquila and the Bee had been launched. People didn't believe that you actually brought what we saw in Aquila and the Bee to Ghana. That's correct. Ghana's spelling bee pulls kids from all corners of the West African country, each competing at a school and regional competition before making it here. Are we ready to go? It's growth exponential. And the competition, well, now it's about as tough as spelling the word that means having lungs and gills. O-U-S, diplomas. That is correct. I felt like the whole world was on my shoulders at that time. The winner in Ghana earns a chance to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. Last year's winner made it all the way to the final 45 spellers. When I'd be walking in town, people would be waving, saying, hey, April, well done, congrats, you made us proud. And I just, after recovering from the shock that they'd been able to recognize me, and I just like wave back and say, <laughs> In a country making considerable strides in literacy and education, the organization behind the competition has worked with more than 10,000 kids since 2008. Like I said, it's not about just reciting words. That would be boring. I think it's really the training process that gets them into it more. If we said to children, we're running an English program, they probably wouldn't be interested. We're running the spelling bee and that they want to do. Learning actually is not limited to the classroom. And the benefits of the bee are not limited to spelling words. I learned that it's wrong to give up. This is a can adage that says that um, if you're going if you're going before a god, you go there three times. So that means that you don't get things easy the first time. You have to keep on going and going at it until you finally achieve your goal. They cry, they are deceived or whatever, but they come back. They yeah, definitely yeah. come back. I met a child today who said, I was in the bee last year uh, and I couldn't walk up to you and talk to you. But this year I've been able to do that because I've built my confidence through the um, public speaking that the program allows. Thank you. The fact that you know we're able to impact on a generation's life through something as basic as reading or, or let's say literacy um, means a lot. My pleasure to announce to you the champion for the year 2017, Lily Tugba. Lily Tugba took home the 2017 trophy and will soon fly to DC to compete in America. An opportunity that's three spelling bees in the making. I feel so um what is it? Like it's a it's a really great honor to be able to like, make Ghana proud. <laughs>